Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking this Boeing 747-8F from Hong Kong over to Anchorage, Alaska. This flight is about 10 hours long and it takes us over the Pacific Ocean. We're going to be flying as Cargo Lux 5325 today and we're going to have an initial cruise altitude of 31,000 feet. This is going to be uh, my first time taking the 747 out in a while. I haven't really done a flight with it, but I know the systems have been updated on the uh, same level as the 787 systems, so I'm definitely excited for this flight today. We currently have no cargo or anything loaded onto the aircraft or fuel, so we're going to have to jump in the cockpit and do our pre-flights. I know there's been a lot of buzz currently about the uh, PMDG 777 coming out soon. I'm actually uh, ordering a new CPU that I should have installed before the release of the 777, so stay tuned for some content and even better quality videos with the uh, 777. Yeah, without further ado, let's jump in the flight deck and get ready for our flight over to Anchorage. All right guys, welcome up into the flight deck. As you can see, we have our battery on currently. We're gonna align our IRSs. We have one minute on the align time. Let's head down to our FMC and do our pre-flight. Alright, we have everything loaded up in our FMC. We did have some issues with the zero fuel weight numbers, but uh, we got everything sorted out. We're going to enter in 190 for our speed here. Flight director's on. Auto throttle's armed, and we're going to cruise up to flight level 310 initially. There's 310, and we can arm LNAV and VNAV. Auto brake to RTO, and we'll start up our APU. APU is started up. QNH for today is 1006. That's it. Go ahead and get our fuel pumps on. Beacon light can come on for pushback. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. Parking brakes, please. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Should be good right there. Please set parking brakes. Parking brakes set. Starting engines one and two. Giving fuel. There's our gear pin. We'll start up engines three and four. All 
Alright, three and four have a good start. Alright, AP you off. Set flaps two twenty. Four taxi checklist, anti-ice is auto, recall, it's checked, auto brake is RTO, flight controls are free and correct, ground equipment is clear and APU is off before taxi checklist completed, we'll get rid of the lower display, weather and traffic, right, we have a pretty long taxi to 25 right which is on the other side of the airport so we'll go ahead and taxi out of here and make a left, and we'll cut through the airport. All right, make this turn. Yeah, get our taxi light on now. Before takeoff checklist, flat is 20. Before takeoff checklist completed. We get our landing lights on. Don't need the logo lights. There's our runway. All right, ready for takeoff, spoon to 40%. Rush ref. Thrust is set. Airspeed's alive. Knots. Hold. Positive rate, gear up. No nav. Beautiful departure. Is that power? And we'll hand it off to autopilot. Good at flaps five for now. After takeoff checklist, 
have to wait on flaps, so we did that. Once we hit uh, 10,000, we should speed up to past our flat restriction, so we'll continue our climb out of here. When we turn off, just come off, wing light, no need it anymore. Everything else looks good. Flaps clean. After takeoff check is complete. Flight level one three. off as well. It comes on up to flight level three one zero. Our speed is coming back and we're leveling off. We have about eight to seven hours left in the flight and uh, I'm going to grab something to eat and probably jump back in the cockpit when we are a couple miles up from our top of descent. We are close to our top descent here. I know it doesn't show on the display here, but we should be descending right after the next waypoint. As you guys can see, the sun hasn't fully set uh, since we are flying towards the top of the globe. So it's actually around 4 a.m. here in the northern Pacific Ocean. We should be landing into Anchorage at around 5.30 a.m. For our approach today, we're just going to descend to Amots. And then from there, we're going to vector ourselves to line up with uh, 07 left. That's what the approach uh, charts call for. So we're going to descend down to... I'm not sure what altitude yet, but we'll descend... And then we'll make a left hand turn and then line ourselves up for the runway. I'm actually going to switch our approach to the Neil 6 RNAV arrival. 
gives us a bit more guidance on our approach. Check that out. Step through. We can get rid of Amot. Alright, so we have 10,000 feet at snag. And this approach should line us up directly with runway 07 left. So that looks good. We're going to go with that. And uh, still don't think we're going to get a top of descent marker, but uh, that should be fine. I think I'm going to start the descent now. It says here on the chart that we should be at flight level 250 at uh, Hammond. So I'll go ahead and engage that. It'll be alright if we overshoot it. Um, I think we have plenty of time to regain that descent path. We'll go ahead and descend. Going to need some speed brake. see some snow-capped mountains out there as well it looks like we should be able to meet that waypoint requirement and I got rid of the speed brake don't think we'll need it for our descent path um, descent checklist recall is checked auto brake is gonna be one for today Landing data, let's get that set. Landing flaps 30, And approach briefing is completed, descent check is complete. Bring this down to 10,000 feet. Feet. Need to start slowing up here pretty soon. Super beautiful morning here in Alaska. I'm flying over the water here. I think the airport should be uh, somewhere at our 11 o'clock. Try and slow up here to 230 knots. May or may not have to do an S turn depending on how high we are on the glide path. Perfect, we're at 230 knots. So I'll put in 3000 now. We want that green banana right there. 3000 waypoint. Slides out. Approach checklist, altimeters are set. Approach checklist complete. We'll slow up to 200. Flaps 5. Maintain 2000, speed coming back to 180. 
Labs 20. Alright, I see the uh, runway. We can go approach. Equalizer's captured. Slow up some more. To our VREF speed. Gear down. Laps full. Landing check with speed brake is arm, landing gear is down and flaps are 30. Landing check was complete. We're a little low. We'll glide here. Alright, we're slipping back into it now. My aircraft. My throttles. So the reversers, manual braking. Welcome to Anchorage, Alaska. We're going to make the first left over here. Flaps up. Spoilers are up. Any lights off. Am I turn off? Wing and strobe lights. Taxi to our gates. Start a very view as well. Right. 
right up here. And our parking is right next to the Stephon Cargo 748. Taxi light off. Parking brake is set, APU is running. Switch engines to cut off. Alright, fuel pumps can come off. And that should do it for our flight to Anchorage. We can like come off as well. Alright, that'll do it for our flight from Hong Kong to Anchorage. We blocked in at about 9 hours and 40 minutes, which was uh, pretty accurate to our same brief fight plan. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment any suggestions you have for future videos. I'm going to install this new CPU that I got um, in the next couple days before we get the PMDG 777. So stay tuned for some pretty high quality content in the future. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.